Hey everyone, it's Lupe. Um, filling in once again uh, for Skylar Del Mar, uh, your normal Wednesday guy. And this week's topic is how we knew that we were trans. So I think that I kind of have a little bit different of a situation than um, a lot of the trans guys that I know and come across, um, at least that I tend to see. Because um, a lot of guys, you know, if they, they will say that if they would have known, you know, what trans was and, and that there was something to describe how they were feeling <coughs> when they were younger, that they would have transitioned, you know, a lot younger in life. And for me, um, it didn't really quite go that way. Uh, from since, you know, high school and even when I was a little bit younger, um, I have known uh, what trans was and transgender, but I didn't know transgender people. Um, at the same time, I really didn't hang out in, you know, the gay community either. And for me, I had always just assumed uh, that I was a lesbian. And now that I'm older and out and everything, um, I realized that I identified with that and that's what I, you know, had assumed, and I say assumed, um, because that's, you know, really important, because, um, I, I just didn't know, and I assumed that I was a lesbian, and I based that solely off of who I was attracted to, and that's because I'm attracted to women, and it wasn't until I, I had moved, um, to Denver that I, I started hanging out within the LGBT community and <coughs> started to feel a disconnect from the lesbian community and that's when I really started to question my gender a lot more. Um, now that I'm older and I've come out, um, I only came out a few months ago for anyone, you know, for those of you who don't know, and I'm 25 years old and I, I think, you know, like, when I think back on it now, like, I, I know that I was trans, like, and I know that I knew when I was younger. Uh, I was always, you know, a boy. Um, I'm blessed to have parents that let me be me, and, you know, growing up, I always pretty much hung out with all boys. Uh, I always had short hair, you know, and a boy haircut, like, not just, you know, short girls, like, cut, it was a boy haircut. I always wore you know, boys' clothes. Um, everything about me was, you know, being a boy. And I basically, as I got older, I then just let society define who I was. And because I was attracted to women, I just, you know, let that be, well, then I'm a lesbian. Because society says that I'm attracted to women, so I must be a lesbian. And, you know, especially when you get into, like, high school, and you know college and stuff and they start separating you know your the sexes and you know now that I think about it and look back at it I was extremely uncomfortable with that I was extremely uncomfortable with being you know put with the girls and um you know but I had always just kind of brushed it off and, and put it in the back of my mind and then when I had moved to Denver and started hanging out in the lesbian community I was 20 when I moved um, and I, you know, I started hanging out with a few lesbians, and then once I turned 21, um, that next October, I then, you know, like, just kind of surrounded myself with lesbians, because I felt that, you know, while I'm a lesbian, you know, these are people that I can engage with, and talk with, that I can associate with, and relate to, and for the first time ever, like, I was just surrounded by women, and that's when like I had said, you know, I really started to feel disconnected from that. And so I started questioning my gender a bit more, but my life was pretty difficult and I was struggling a lot. So um, I had spent some time homeless and, you know, what was more on my mind was where am I, you know, going to sleep tonight and, you know, will I get to eat tomorrow and, and stuff like that. I was, you know, so the gender stuff just kind of got pushed to the back of my mind. Um, you know, in the last, like, year, um, a lot of the, uh, friends that I even hung out with at that time that were lesbians, um, all, like, like, four, I pretty much hung out with, like, six people, and four of them, 
um, have come out as trans and started transitioning. And that really started making me question it a lot more, especially within the last year. Um, but once again, um, I was still struggling. Um, I, you know, I was with my girlfriend that I'm with now at the time, and um, she had been having some difficult times as well. So, I mean, like, the two of us, like, all we really had was the two of us um, dealing with just, like, a bunch of bullshit. So, um, you know, she knew that I had questioned my gender and stuff like that, but, again, like, it just, it wasn't, you know, important at the time. Um, I moved from Denver uh, to Las Vegas in February, and that's when it really just started to, like, push itself forward. And, you know, it was a good timing because, you know, moving here and everything, um, I'm in a stable position. Uh, I'm in school just online right now, and <coughs> my girlfriend works full-time, but we're not struggling and stuff, like, to make ends meet. So, you know, I get to spend a lot of time by myself, and, you know, it gave me a lot of time to just to really think about things. And the more I thought, the more that I learned um, about, you know, transitioning and stuff, the, the more I connected with that and the less I connected with the lesbian community. Um, I just couldn't, I, I had tried for so long to just, you know, find my niche within the lesbian community and it was really, really hard for me. And, you know, now that I realize, you know, like why that was so difficult for me, you know, things are just a lot easier. Um, and again, now that I'm out and stuff, like, I find that I only hang out with men. Um, a lot of gay men, um, uh, but men, um, and some trans guys, you know, the, really, there's, like, one female here that I hang out with, um, and she's just friends with a gay friend of mine, uh, and my girlfriend, that's about it. Um, and it just feels so much more comfortable. Again, I'm just so much happier. So... I guess that's my little spiel. Um, it ended up being a little bit longer than I expected, but um, I think it's important because I think some, you know, <coughs> people identify as lesbians or they're just not sure, and you know, they're wondering like, you know, am I trans or or am I just a lesbian? And um, a good piece of advice: um, talk with lesbian friends that you have. Uh, I got a lot of answers from my lesbian friends that I wasn't getting from trans men because, you know, once someone identifies as trans and comes out as trans, their thought is a little bit different and, you know, not every trans man identified as a lesbian beforehand and I think some people struggle with that a lot and, because I know I did, um, and, you know, asking my lesbian friends, you know, like, is this how you feel? And having them tell me, like, no, I don't feel like that, you know, that, for me, um, was like, oh, okay, like, so, you know, my disconnect is true, and it is real, and, um, I need to look at, you know, into other options, you know, for myself, and then that's when I definitely dove into, um, transitioning. So, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.